Brouwer. I'm uh, the co-founder of Scanadu, and um, what we do at Scanadu um, is the following. We develop the next generation of medical devices for consumers, and we concentrate on the mobile. So everything is developed for the mobile um, experience. When I say medical, I mean um, by that that all our products are going for FDA clearance. Uh, when I say consumers, we pay a, a lot of attention to the, to the design, to the form factor of the devices, but also the user experience, the app. Um, it's uh, pretty centric. And when I say um, um, mobile, um, uh, everything, as I said, is, um, is developed for, uh, for the mobile. So today I'm very, very um, um, happy to show you uh, what we've been working on very hard with my team uh, in Mountain View for um, the last three years. Um, so um, this is the device. This is um, the Scanadu Scout. It's an investigational device. Uh, this is the first edition, and that little device measures your vital signs in seconds. It sends it to your smartphone via Bluetooth. It does blood pressure, cuffless, as Alan mentioned, uh, temperature, SpO2, and heart rate. And I'm going to try it on stage with you. Uh, I'm super nervous. I think my results will show. Uh, um, that's for the device part. Um, I have something else to show you. It's the disposable part. Um, and that's the second time we are showing it um, live. Uh, we showed it 10 days ago at the Wall Street Journal live conference. This is a full panel, uh, full urine analysis uh, panel, 12 reagents. Um, again, you dip it in your urine, you take your smartphone. We developed an app that uh, reads the results. You don't need the analyzer anymore in one minute. Uh, when I say 12 reagents, it's uh, um, if you're not really familiar with urine analysis, it's, um, uh, it can check on UTI, it can check on uh, pH level, glucose level, complications during the pregnancy, um, creatinine for um, kidney conditions, um, and, and so on. So I'm going to show you. Um, I have here with me a few things. Um, and this is the, the data part. Everything gets displayed, uh, stored um, uh, on my phone. Um, and um, I can, of course, share my results if I want with my physician or uh, uh, my community. So let's start with the Scanadu Scout. The app is telling me to switch it on, which I'm doing. It's connecting now with Bluetooth. What a silence. <laughs> It's asking me to hold it, which I'm doing, and I'm going to put it on my temple. Some people put it on the forehead. And while I'm doing that, I will not speak. It creates an electrical circuit. And uh, here we go. You'll see my. You're seeing her heartbeat there. Here you go. So as I said, heart rate 131. I'm super nervous. <laughs> Thank you. You can see my uh, blood pressure. Um, I've been recently developing a little bit of high blood pressure. Um, but you know, we've been working very hard. It's uh, kind of normal. Temperature and SpO2. What I can do here, those are all the scans I've been taking this morning. Here, um, this morning when I woke up, I was again super nervous. You can see the, the red, it's timestamped. Um, I can also go back in by readings. This is my last reading. And of course, I can um, go and have a look at it on a weekly, monthly. Sorry about that. Someone, yeah. I called my son to not call me this morning because I'm using my. <laughs> my phone. <laughs> um, and here I can go back in time, look at the amount of scans I've been taking, uh, my averages. Um, it's telling me here it's normal. And sorry about that. So I also have the NIH references uh, to explain to me what normal is with color codes. Um, and I can also put my own, um, uh, my own ranges um, into that. Because again, what's normal for me uh, is not normal for you. So that was for the Scan do scout. And um, the other thing I want to show you is um, the urine um, analysis scanner flow. So um, before I do that, let me explain to you a few things if you're not familiar with that. So first, I have with me um, 
serine. Serine is uh, synthetic urine, so no panic, it's not real urine. Uh, but one is negative and one is positive. Um, this is, I brought here a little machine, a little anal analyzer. This is um, uh, what is used in um, most of the labs. There are different brands. Uh, what you would do, you would uh, go to a lab, um, give your urine, and um, a lab technician will look at it. You would, um, you would need a prescription for that, of course. Um, it would take between um, uh, 12, 24 hours <clears throat> before you get the results, if you get them, because most of the time, if everything is okay, you even don't get them. So, uh, and um, as a lab technician, I will get here a little ticket um, on a piece of paper, um, <clears throat> and that's it, basically. So, uh, what we have done, we have um, reduced that entire process um, in an app with that paddle, and um, I'm going to show you how it works. So, this is, yeah, this is, uh, a positive solution, so it will show abnormal um, things in my urine. Um, <clears throat> opening my app. Okay, so it's telling me what to do. It's telling me to collect uh, my urine. Let's say I'm at home uh, in my bathroom, so I first, we, we also have um, the entire user experience, the cup and everything that I didn't bring here. Um, this is done, then it's explaining to me how to dip the paddle in the cup. Um, and um, so that's what I'm going to do right now. So I'm doing it. Okay. So, and the timer has started one minute. This is what it takes for the reagents. So let me explain to you what it does in that minute. Um, this app does three things. First, it interprets the color, this, the colors. This is colorometry. Um, nothing really new there in terms of tech, but um, not really used in medical um, applications. Second, our algorithm, and this is a bit more complicated, is able to read, um, almost done, is able to read um, uh, the results uh, now in any light settings, bathroom, restrooms here on the stage. And the third thing, we have been uh, going granular, so it's not only telling me uh, good, not good, it's also giving me a number, so it's my urine quantified. So here you go. Taking a picture, it's scanning. All right, so, and here are the results. So I can see that I have um, abnormal level of protein in my blood with uh, a number. Uh, same thing uh, in my urine. Um, um, abnor uh, moderate level of blood. Um, and um, I can see leukocyte, nitrite. Obviously, if those two were red, I would have UTI. So this is the thing again here. Those are all the tests I've been doing. I can go back. Again, I can click on each um, analyte, and I will have an explanation about what it means. Again, I can share my results with my physician or my community. And um, that data stays on my phone, so I don't lose it. Uh, and um, it's also educational, because I'm actually, um, imagine I'm just doing that test to check if I have UTI, uh, but I notice that I have other read uh, results that I was not even aware uh, they were existing, I would be curious and uh, wanted to know what it means. So that's it. Thank you. And thank you. <laughs> and if you want a closer look, we'll be doing a scan do workshop this afternoon where you can see this up close and also brainstorm together the future of primary care, the future of healthcare. Excuse me? Not yet. So, as I said, we're going, we, we are shipping very soon our uh, first 8,000 units as investigational device. Um, we had um, a big crowdfunding, crowdsourcing campaign, um, but we are ready for 2015 for both products. So, yeah, and the price for the, for the vital signs would be $199. We go um, consumers and the urine analysis test, we're talking about a couple of dollars per paddle or box. So let's all develop relationships and technologies and hospitals and systems that really speak the language of people. 
because that's what it's about. Thanks.